Hi Air Energies, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages here. Today we're going to be taking a look at whether or not you should stay and um, see this relationship through. Okay, so I guess this is for those of you who are a little bit uncertain of what the future holds or you're a little bit uncertain of whether or not there is a future for the two of you. Okay, um, stick around and we'll see what the cards are predicting for you here in terms of whether you should stay and fight for this connection, whether you should, you know, write it out, whether you should stick around or is there something else in store for you. I will also be using the angel answers because I feel like there could be some guidance in it for someone here watching. Okay, so we'll go ahead and give both the decks a shuffle and take a look at these messages um, and just before I get into it I do I do just want to remind you all that these messages are general but I'm sure you're already across that um, if you are after a personalized tarot reading with myself please feel free to reach out and inquire I will list my email address below the video here um, okay now that that's all said and done you've got the Sun here Yes, okay. So first and foremost, we're off to a great start. So you've heard it, the cards have spoken here. Should you stay? Yes, it's a resounding yes. Yes, you should stay in this connection because the potential of this connection has not yet been fully realized. I say this because there is so much more room for growth, like self-growth and self-development. There's so much more room for um, wonderful emotional experiences. Yes, some challenging ones at that, but you know, um, that's where all the growth and changes and transitioning happens, right? So should you say yes, because I feel like your relationship is about to get so much bigger than what it is. I'm seeing it's expanding, so I'm seeing expansion, I'm seeing foresight here. And even the angels are telling you stay, because if you leave, you might potentially might miss out on something that you could really regret here. Um, for some of you, I, the cards also predict possible children, okay, so this kind of romantic energy could give you children here, so I feel like this is someone who you might end up having children with here, um, or this is someone who, it feels like this person is really, he or she brings out like your inner child, okay, this is someone who makes you feel like, you know, like you view the eyes Sorry, you viewed the world through the eyes of a child with this person, and that's very beautiful here. Um, so yes, the future, it looks very bright, very optimistic here. Okay, very optimistic for a lot of you. Should you stay? I mean, yes. What else is there? <laughs> we'll see. Okay, the Ace of Swords here. Okay, I just need one. Okay, big happy changes. I feel like... The cards are trying to hint at that maybe communication needs to improve in order to sort of welcome those big happy changes. Okay, so for some of you, um, the key word there being changes, meaning that something is going to take place in this relationship, which is going to shift. Okay, so there's going to be, I'm seeing a turning point, I'm going to liken it to a turning point, and I'm seeing that um, communication here, but... This communication needs to be honest and transparent to the point where it needs to be raw, it needs to be unfiltered. So don't censor yourself out for this person, okay? Um, talk to them how you talk to yourself, okay? Talk to them in all honesty, in all transparency, because, you know, the you, the unfiltered you, the raw you, the, the true you, that's who they're going to fall in love with, or that's who they are in love with. Don't try to censor yourself for this person, because what they want is, they ultimately want you, at, you know, at your core here and I am seeing that maybe communication channels need improving in this relationship and if you sort of you know improve that key factor I do feel like it's going to usher in some very big positive changes if the two of you really talk to one another and I don't mean like talk at each other I don't mean like you know just talk I mean like be honest with what it is that you say tell them what you want to tell them even if you feel like what you might tell them might hurt them they need to know the truth even if the truth hurts a little as do you here so i'm seeing that there is potential for a big breakthrough a big turning point which is going to be brought on by communication here guys so what else queen of swords i feel like she's popped out earlier and I feel like that sort of echoes on for the, from the communication here. And you're an air energy, okay? Air energies, it's so important for you to have that mental connection with this person here. It's important. And I feel like that's really what's lacking in this connection right now. Um, disagree with me if you want, but I feel like you feel like maybe you, mis you feel misunderstood by this person. Or you feel like you're not 
you can't necessarily break through to them. You feel like there could be communication barriers or that, you know, there, there could be some sort of breakdowns in communications or you feel like this person doesn't understand you on a mental level. So it's important and you need that mental stimulation because if you don't get that, you will move on from this connection. OK, so make sure that person, you know, is able to sort of provide you with that. So you really need to get to know each other on a different level here. And I feel like really opening up and talking with one another um, it says here that is going to improve your health. I'm going to link that to your mental health because I right now I feel like, I mean, you guys are all about, you know, mental energy. So you need to be able to, rather than just feel your emotions, which I'm not saying that you don't, but you need to be able to intellectualize them, right? You need to be able to understand what it is that you're feeling and why it is that you're feeling right now. And I feel like this is where you lack clarity with this person. You're not you're not really sure of your emotions for them or you're not really certain about, you know, your emotions for um, their emotions for you. And this sort of plays on your mental health, whereas they leave you second guessing or you may like feel a lack of clarity, okay? There's like there's not a lot of emotional or more importantly mental clarity here. So I feel like talking to one another is going to give you that peace of mind that you need. And it's essentially going to improve your mental health in knowing that, you know, you don't have to doubt this connection or you don't, you know, you don't have to have, you know, certain reservations or hesitations because talking and being really transparent and open with each other is going to eliminate any um, fears or uncertainties there. Three of Wands, okay. I did see, I did say that I did see with the Sun card here, there's a lot of growth or expansion coming up, okay. So the cards are definitely clarifying that and confirming that there is a lot of growth. Um, okay, trust. Okay, some of you, those of you that are doing long distance relationship, I see travel in the cards for you. This is someone whom you're going to be traveling or this person sorry for the background noise or this person is going to be traveling to meet you here so there's a possibility that there is going to somehow be traveling involved or the two of you will be doing a lot of traveling together for the future okay and in a sense I feel like traveling will really enable you to get to to know one another even like on a more deeper um, level here I'm seeing that I'm also saying that, yeah, this is uh, long-term vision and this is foresight and this is a forthright, like a forthcoming stability. Um, this connection here, it may have its challenges to begin with, but it's going to, I feel like this connection is really going to grow legs and I'm seeing that it's going to become something very stable. I'm seeing that there's a lot of growth, there's a lot of expansion. This is someone whom you potentially will go the long distance with. Again, some of you, I'm seeing traveling, I'm seeing travel on the cards for you so either this person is going to travel to see you or you're going to travel to see them the two of you will be traveling together this could be someone from an entirely different country someone who is from a very different cultural background to you or you might even have to travel to meet their parents here in the future um trust okay so trust that for those of you that are doing long distance you need to trust that it's not the the geographical distance that it's keeping you apart it's not okay that's not a barrier i mean to an extent it is but not really because essentially it's Time is what keeps people apart, okay? So just, you know, trust that, trust in what the two of you have and trust that everything unfolds here in divine timing and divine intervention here, guys. Okay, should I pull out one more card? I feel like this is someone whom you're going to have a future with, okay? This is someone whom you're possibly going to get married to, settle down, have children, get, in, um, get, in, or get engaged to, or just move in and live with this person happily ever after but they're already is it you or them someone's already making i mean someone's already picking out a wedding dress someone's already making uh future plans in their head here is what i'm seeing they they see you they see you long term they see you being the mother or the father to their children they see you like doing all the school pickups they see possibly building even a business with you. I mean, this is someone who sees you in their future already. That's intense, guys. Intense. Temperance. What did I tell you? Be patient and trust. Trust the process. Take action. Okay. <laughs> what a contradiction. <laughs> Such a walking contradiction. Trust, be patient, and then all of a sudden take action. Okay. Yes, absolutely. Take action by all means. Okay. But only when you feel it is right to do so. Okay. Don't try and force fit something here. Okay. 
let things flow because what I feel like there should be this natural organic and fluid flow to this connection if you feel like you have to force fit something if you feel like you have to hurry something up don't okay that's a bad energy to be in um trust that you know trust in the strength of this connection and take yeah of course you'll have to take action okay because i feel like for a lot of you there is the um for, for a lot of you i feel like you're going to be in a position where you're going to have to choose between this person or between pursuing another career another connection or something else here and you're going to have to take action and that action that you'll take will have repercussions but Take action once you're at peace with your conflict. Take actions once you feel like you're ready to, you know, to take this commitment and, you know, you're ready to, to make a commitment to your choice because ultimately not only are you committing to that choice, you're also committing to the consequences of that choice. So absolutely take action, but only when you're ready and you'll know when you are. All right, guys, and these are your messages. Thank you for watching, for listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel, liking, sharing, or commenting. I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so stay tuned. Thanks, guys, again. Bye for now.